Welcome. Uh, today we'll explore the Oracle Cloud Advisor, uh, a feature in governance and administration. Uh, very quickly, let's go uh, to Cloud Advisor. And as you know, costs and, and security are two very important criteria when discussing cloud operational models. Cloud Advisor is important because it finds potential inefficiencies in your tenancy and offers guided solutions to address them. This will help you maximizing cost savings and improving the security of your tenancy. Let's start by cost savings. In cost management, uh, if I click details, you can see where, how, and how much Cloud Advisor can help you optimizing. In this details table, you can find different recommendations to automatically archive or delete resources, for instance, to terminate an attached block volume uh, or to find instances that you are no longer using and recommend that you stop them. And finally, uh, Cloud Advisor also helps you reducing the number of CPUs allocated to specific autonomous databases. So let's do a very quick exercise. I have around 30 uh, recommendations for block volume in the pending state. Uh, uh, let's see them. And uh, often you can implement the recommendation either for specific resources, as I'm going to do right now, or for all uh, resources um, in this list. Uh, I'll first click um, uh, the resource name and confirm that this block volume has no instance attached, okay? Uh, and then getting back to the Cloud Advisor, I will explore the different options I have. I can implement this recommendation, postpone or dismiss it. In this case, I want to implement, so I'll click implement. Um, a work request for, for this change is about uh, to get uh, created, okay? So if uh, it also lets you know that you cannot undo this operation. If I click delete, okay, um, uh, you can see here the work request now uh, being created. Uh, I'll close this. Uh, if I get back to recommendations and in history, um, uh, I will have, as the block volume will be terminated, I will have that information here in the history. Okay, this is valid whether you implement a recommendation through the console as I did or through the REST APIs. If I take a look back on my, um, uh, on my uh, block volume, uh, I can actually see that it has no longer it, it was actually terminated, okay? Um, I'll get back here to history. And okay, uh, I should now have my um, uh, log of my last action, that's it. With this simple action, we will save some money, okay? Back to dashboards, uh, let's check security recommendations. So uh, in security, I'll click details. And this is actually achieved through the built-in Cloud Guard recommendations, which will help you address security vulnerabilities, okay? Um, here you have security score rating, uh, the higher, the better. And then you have risk score, the lower, the better. Um, third, uh, you have security recommendations in general, where you can start fixing or following Cloud, Cloud Guard recommendations. Um, then you have also problem snapshot, which shows the number of issues and their severity. Uh, you also have uh, uh, this option you can, where you can see your problems by compartment, by region, or by resource type. Um, you can also see different user activity problems, uh, usually user suspicious activity, which is then monitored by location. Um, and then you have three important concepts here, responder recipes, um, and a responder is an action that CloudGuard take uh, when a detector has identified a problem. Uh, a detector is a set of rules which, uh, when triggered, causes it to report a problem. And the managed lists uh, is basically a tool or scope that can be used to apply certain control configurations to detectors based on specific criteria such as trusted IP addresses, specific resources, or groups uh, of users. So let's do a practical exercise. Let's get to problems. Here we see a list with all problems identified for all regions in my tenancy. I will select one of them. I can actually select this one, okay? Uh, and here, uh, what I can see is that I can do three things. Remediate this, mark as result, or dismiss it. If I decide to remediate this, I get this dialog uh, with some requirements to effectively solve this issue. In this case, the responder rule would make um, would be to make this uh, bucket private. 
And there is a requirement related to the need to let the service cloud guard to manage buckets in this compartment in order to, to do this, okay? So I'll now cancel, I'll not do this right now, I'll cancel going back and I'll select dismiss, okay? Uh, to dismiss, uh, I can just write a comment, I'll write not critical, um, I'll dismiss this recommendation, I'll click dismiss, and after the, the recommendation um, getting dismissed, uh, I will eventually have that information here uh, in my responder status as the last action executed, okay? And that's it. I'll go back to my Cloud Advisor dashboard. Um, we have seen how easy it is to manage costs with cost management and security uh, with the Cloud Guard uh, in Oracle Cloud infrastructure. Thank you and see you next time.